Hi everyone! Today I'm going to be making a grilled zucchini wrap with a cottage cheese filling. You can also use a ricotta cheese. Today I'll be using a cottage cheese and so we'll get started. I have washed and sliced one zucchini. You can do more than one if it's for uh, a lot of people. This one will be for two people. So what I, again, what I've done is I've washed and sliced my zucchini. I'm gonna place it on my tray. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to line each side with some olive oil and then a bit of salt. And then I'm gonna bake it in the oven so it can get nice and soft. And then I'll show you what I'm gonna do next. Now that I have my zucchini baking in the oven, so that we can get it nice and soft to do our rolls, I'm going to now prepare my filling for the zucchinis. So I'm going to be using a cottage cheese, and like earlier I said, you can also use a ricotta. So it's all about your preference. So get some of the cottage cheese. I'm going to use some Parmesan cheese. I'm going to be using some dry basil. Some salt. mix that all up and then I'm going to set it aside and when the zucchini is ready I'm going to show you how I'm going to roll them. Now that my zucchini is completed I had it in the toaster oven for about 15 minutes and it's nicely grilled on all sides. It's not overcooked which is great. My filling is nice and complete with the cottage cheese and the spices. So now I'm going to get started with creating my zucchini rolls stuffed with the cottage cheese. So I'm going to first start off in my pan with some tomato sauce. So I'm just going to line it with some tomato sauce. I'm also going to add some homemade pesto. This is the pesto I made uh, earlier on and you can find this recipe step by step on our channel. going to do is I'm going to grab the zucchini individually and what I'm going to do is I'm going to get a spoonful of the cottage cheese and then I'm going to start rolling them so that the inside of the zucchini is nicely full with the cottage cheese then I'm going to rest it down in my pan so once I have all of my zucchini with the cottage cheese filling complete, I'm going to then put on top some more tomato sauce and then I'm going to put some mozzarella cheese and then I'm going to bake it again once in the oven and then I'll show you what it looks like when it's complete. I had my zucchini that is stuck with the cottage cheese baking in the oven for about a half hour. So they're nice and cooked, full of flavor. It's nicely seasoned and um, full of tomato sauce, so they're not dried out, and they're ready to serve. You can serve it with some pasta, you can serve it alone with a salad, it's up to you. If you like this recipe and you want to see more like this, please subscribe to our channel. Hit that share, like, and that bell notification. 